Okay, team. Hey, here is some notes. Uh, 3.1 slash 3.2 uh, parallel lines and transversals. So let's uh, let's get into it here. There we go. Okay, so corresponding angles. Um, well, first of all, let's see here. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to use pink here. So corresponding angles. This is just like the matching location but at the opposite intersection so those angles right there we could say those are corresponding um, they are congruent to each other corresponding angles in fact let's write that down are congruent it's a big one for us congruent um, so there are four sets of congruent or uh, corresponding angles every time you have parallel lines cut by a transversal. So here are your four pairs. And last but not least, we got another one right here. So each of those matching colored angles are corresponding. Okay, alternate interior angles moving over here. Um, these are angles that are on the inside the inside of your parallel lines, but on alternate or opposite sides of the transversal. And they are also congruent. There are only two pairs of these. So here's another one that's interior angle, alternate or opposite sides of the transversal. Okay, alternate exterior, exterior as in outside of the parallel lines, and then alternate meaning opposite sides of the transversal, and those are also congruent. So if two angles are alternate exterior, then they are congruent. Got another set right over here. By the way, I know that I'm talking fast, so if you need to pause and replay, then I encourage you to do that if you need to. Same side interior. We got same side of the transversal and inside of your parallel lines. That one looks kind of bad here. Let's try this. Let's go. Boom, there we go. And that relationship is supplementary, AKA adds to 180 degrees. So if two angles are on the same side of the transversal and inside the parallel lines, then they will add up to 180 degrees. Same side exterior is actually the same relationship. So this time we are on the outside of the parallel lines, but on the same side of the transversal, and these also add to 180. Got a pair there too. Did I forget to do that here? I did. There we go. Okay, and vertical angles. So this is the only relationship that actually is irrelevant to the fact that the lines are parallel. Um, we've talked about this already. This is a very important relationship. It comes in handy all the time. But angles that are directly across from each other are called vertical angles, and those are, those are congruent. Vertical angles are congruent. Uh, let's see here. We can mark this one too. These angles are vertical. And then down here, vertical, directly across. And once again, that last pair there. Okay, so team, uh, some very useful and important angle relationships that are helpful for really all of chapter three. So keep this in your workbook, and then you should be working on both pages of the 3.2 workbook. Thanks for playing. Have fun.